that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are going to be listening to an Abstract Illusions sophomore album that is brand new called Whoa. I'm super, super excited for this. These boys are so freaking talented. Uh, we listened to their latest single, In the Heavens Above, You Will Become a Monster, just the other week or so. So if you want to check it out, it's right here. <laughs> I always forget it. Uh, it's right here. So go and check that out after this video, though. We're going to listen to the entire song. It's coming out September 9th, and um, I'm really, really stoked. So thank you so much to Carl and all of the boys in, in Abstract Illusion for um, giving me more information about your album and access to the lyrics and also to Willow Tip for um, just partnering with me on this video and letting me get get to hear these boys. Because honestly, I didn't know about these guys beforehand, and I'm so glad I did. Their, their latest single actually made me cry, so I'm prepared for the tears, and I'm excited. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. I post daily videos now, and uh, I would love to have you be a part of this metal journey with me. I also have a Discord called The Mosh Pit that you can join. There is an invite link down below in the description. Um, and I also have a P.O. Box if you want to send something over um, to me to be featured in a metal unboxing video, you can do that there. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this album, like and share this video with a friend, and uh, without further ado, let's get into an Abstract Illusions brand new album, Whoa. So a little bit about this record before we actually get into it because um, Carl from An Abstract Illusion did personally reach out to me about this record um, and asked if there was anything that I wanted to know about it um, or if I, he want, if I wanted to get the lyrics. Um, obviously I date girl so um, I have the lyrics for us today which is really awesome and what he said about this record is that it's really one long 60 minute song which we split into seven parts. So all the songs flow into each other, but we still think they work as standalone songs. So it's hard to choose a favorite song. I asked him what his like favorite song was or what they thought was like the strongest song on the record. Um, he said it's easier to select a favorite section of the album. Some of them would be the ending to In the Heavens Above, the intro to Tear Down This Holy Mountain, or maybe the guitar and keyboard solo near the end of This Torment Has No End. He also said on this album we brought in some friends to play different instruments like clarinet, bassoon, cello, violins, and of course the female vocals you hear in their single In the Heavens Above, You Will Become a Monster. The artwork is an actual oil painting, which is really cool, it looks like it, <laughs> that we commissioned from the American artist Adam Burke. The real painting was then sold by Adam to someone, and I believe it resides. Can you just relax? Thanks. God. Oh, um, he says, I believe it resides in Denmark these days. So, super super excited um let's get into let's get into the songs i can already tell i'm gonna cry Thank you. 
mean, I don't know what I was expecting other than I knew it was going to be beautiful, and I'm, like, already feeling like I'm going to cry, honestly. It's like an interlude. It seems like this is, like, an interlude or, like, an intro song, just setting the course. It's beautiful. This, like, it almost sounds like a, one of those, like, weighted keyboards or, like, weighted piano. It's not a weighted piano, but, like, almost like a beautiful, like, rose like oh just like padded keys the ocean sound super beautiful and oh I, i'm stereopath already <laughs> super disorienting with the da 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 and then there was something else it's like some guitar part that was kind of like I don't know I'll have to re-listen to it but it was just like a note or something it was kind of disorienting oh oh they're setting the scene this is gonna be really intense I can already tell this is gonna be a really intense album already beautifully mastered and like produced and the drums the drum sounds so good. <laughs> seconds into the second song slaves because they're supposed to all run in together but we're gonna break it up I know we're gonna break it up so y'all can listen to it straight through on your own but we are gonna break it up in a way as best as we can um okay wow oh and it just slams right into this like super fast part into slaves dude these vocals in the end of the behemoth is the most beautiful thing I have heard. I'm going to cry, but I'm going to try and keep it together. That was like one of the most beautiful things I've heard in a really long time. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but it sounds like y'all use like a vocoder. Um, oh, it's just the delivery, dude. What were your lyrics for this? Uh, let's see. The beast that lies asleep, the depths below awaken. Beneath looms in the deep, a quiet body waiting. The beast asleep in the deep 
Awaken from its slumber, the behemoth, it lies asleep. Bars. I like, I, I just want to like re-listen to that section over and over and over again. <laughs> and I'm going to make you suffer for it. We're not suffering. We're having a great time. We're going to re-listen to that little ending there. Hold on. Just let me, let me just have the time. Let me just do it. Sleep immediately goes into slaves. Great. I also love the change in the chord. It's almost like you go into some sort of like minor chord or something. You change it. Um, a quiet body waiting. I think that's when you change the beast to sleep in the deep. Could totally see myself singing to that. Okay. All right. All right. I see how it is. So let's get into slaves now. Oh gosh. Could just be like some sort of keyboard sound, but it sounds like a vocal. going on in here it's kind of moving it's kind of moving like some children of Bodom in a way I'm getting like Opeth and children of Bodom and the beginning reminded me a little bit of like the intensity of like Lorna Shore um, 
just like sometimes they're like drums and their instrumentation can be like really intense right off the bat. Um, I also think coming right out of the behemoth into slaves, like it's just, it's so intense. <laughs> um, also this like chorus before this part is like, it's funky. It like, it's a little off and like kind of harmonizes, but kind of doesn't. And it's just like, it's just off to where it's like unsettling and you're like, I don't know if this works, but it kind of works but I like it and because it's like unsettling just enough to where when you get into this like beautiful instrumentation part it it's like such a nice resolve so I really like it spill tears right now because we're only two songs in <laughs> dude this is like actually phenomenally beautiful and it's just there's the technicality of it the production of it the layering pieces of it I'm amazed and this piano section that you had it's almost like it's its own like piano I'm, I'm blanking on the words of what kind of music this is classical classical piano music and I loved the run the run down all the way until you get back into this section oh okay <laughs> kind of like up chuck guitar thing 
it was just paired really nicely. I just, I feel like it wouldn't work, but it does, and they complement each other, and then you have this kind of like beautiful layered scent, so it's like, you want it, it, it feels like a, a mellow sort of like resolve almost coming out of that section previously, but it's a little unsettling because the drums are so like chop, chop, chop in your face. Oh, we're feeling some funk, but it's a good kind of funk. It's beautiful. <laughs> did not just do that. Dude, that was insane. Started out the solo with this high note, held it for like a beat, and then matched with the drums. As the drums do this like da-da-da-da, da 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 the guitar does the exact same thing. And then continues to match the drums. Oh, that was sick. Because you could have easily just held out that high note and just let it ring, but no, you decided to match the drums. And it kind of is, again, a little unsettling because you expect, you expect one thing and you get totally something different. Holy crap. which is the third song so you're holding it out and now we're going into this third song which is almost 12 minutes long but before we do that we're going to read up on slaves and I do believe there is some information about this song let's see so also another thing about this record just a little side note um if you haven't watched the previous video I did on their on an abstract illusions single the whole album is um about the abuse of power so how we as people oppress others we perceive as beneath us so it talks about the removal of rights to bodily autonomy child abuse honor-based violence and prosecution um so that's kind of like what the album that's what the album is about in terms of Slaves, which is the song that we just heard, 
Um, he said, Carl said that the lyrics are very graphic. He said the topic deals with honor-based violence and were inspired by a real case where a rape victim was murdered by her family because it brought dishonor over the family. Um, the POV is taking on the role of the oppressor and the lyrics are raw and uncompromising. Because it's a very, very ugly topic, somehow people have interpreted it as if we are pro-rape and pro-violence against women, which couldn't be further from the truth. Just wanted to give you a heads up. <laughs> and he said, oh, and also the lyrics to Blomster Kranz, which is the fifth song on here. Uh, is completely in Swedish, so they might be hard to interpret, Or the, although Carl was nice enough to give me um, the English Google Translate version, but he said it lost some of the original meaning, but we'll still be able to um, dissect it as best as we can. So, Slaves is about a real case of honor-based violence against a rape victim that brought dishonor to her family, my goodness. Following blindly ideology of sheep, promises of heaven and paradise in the name of oppression and inequality, violently disrespecting the chamber of your existence, the irony of mankind, killed by rape, blade and stone, brutally murdered, punch her in the face, see how she falls down, spit on her, laugh at her, undress and rape her, cut and humiliate her, Hear her blood splatter, see her slutful grin. My woman, have they raped you, you worthless whore? Dang, Bubba, you really, you were rat. <laughs> you hear me, how could you let this happen? Mutilate her, sew her together, feed her to the maggots, burn her corpse. Take this ruin, rearrange her soul. Dang. And he said it was in the POV of... POV, taking on the role of the oppressor, so the person that was actually doing this to her. Dang. I mean, yeah, good on you for, like, at least doing the song, you know? That does take guts, and it's not an easy comp it's not an easy thing to do, but it's very metal. <laughs> and it's a very, um, it's a very interesting topic to, like, write a song. It's definitely brutal, for sure. It's definitely brutal, but y'all managed to take something that is so tragic, it's so horrible for a woman to experience, and made it into this beautiful song and it was almost like two parts in itself it was like super intense in the first half and then you just had this like i don't know it was like beautiful resolve in the end so y'all are y'all are doing something good y'all are doing something really really special in this record so far so now that we've finished slaves we're going to go into Tear Down This Holy Mountain, which is almost a 12-minute track. So, just as a refresher, it fades out at the end of Slaves. We are 10 seconds into Tear Down This Holy Mountain with just a nice fade out. So, it's still holding out this sort of uh, ambient noise.
Oh my god. I'm also just imagining how amazing this would be live. You would have to do the whole thing just straight through. In a row, just the whole thing, one show experience. And this frickin' spoken word, dude. Oh. It's kind of given me... It's not... It's, it's given me Agalock. Y'all are giving me Agalock, Children of Bodom, and Opeth. That's what I'm getting. And this clarinet. This clarinet, and y'all are perfectly building this up. Oh my god. <laughs> suggestion for you. You don't have to take it. I mean, who am I? Who am I? But this section, I'm hearing violins. I'm hearing an orchestra. If you could do this live, it would be sick, nasty. Imagine, banana, 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 just something like that. Not necessarily in that tone, because I have headphones on, but just imagine it. bring it into this oh resolve dude y'all are becoming my favorite band that we have had on this channel bar none bar none you are going over opeth 
Okay? You're coming for death's you're coming for death's tear right now, okay? Death's got a special place in my heart, but y'all y'all are getting up there. You're getting up there. favorite record, favorite metal record I've heard this year, bar none, okay, bar none, absolutely, holy cow, you had just the right amount of distortion on your guitar too during that little solo, oh, and it was beautifully, beautifully mastered to where it was just like, oh, Everything is so perfectly layered throughout this whole thing. Okay, I must shut up now. I just needed to like <laughs> I needed to wipe my tears. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna continue.
the the transition between tear down this holy mountain into prosperity is kind of like a hard stop and then goes into this oh my god also is there any correlation between slaves and prosperity because they're both seven minutes long slaves is seven minutes and 24 seconds and prosperity is seven minutes and 42 seconds is there any is that just like how it is or is that like is there a, me a meaning behind that? Um, okay, Tear Down This Holy Mountain, I think is my favorite song. But I don't know, the vocals at the end of Beh The Behemoth That Lies Asleep is fire. Dude, I'm an emotional wreck right now. Okay, we stood in awe, trembling with excitement as the towers of the earth fall, collapsed in silence. The worlds of men fall in this hour of perdition. The sins of our mothers, our fathers, compounded by a billion. A horn chimes somewhere in the horizon as it echoes over the tapestry of the Empyrean. It signals his advent. The dawn of all that was, behold the grace of God as he drags us down to hell. The values of your following, the reasons for, your, for ignorance, unintellectual mongrels leading us into extinction prophets preaching for dominance at the cost of innocence bars rise and evolve sweetheart can you stop licking yourself goodness Ugh. rise and evolve destroy the remains of your past become one with the revolution stop it i told you to stop get your damn tongue off your damn elbow okay burn the holy grail in the eyes of god Believe in yourself, the evolution. Rid the shackles of the earth. Be free and liberated from faith and deception, from society and God. So he said the intro to Tear Down This Mountain they really liked. Ooh. Favorite section. It's easier to select a favorite session of the album. Some of it would be the ending to the In the Heavens Above and the intro to Tear Down This Holy Mountain. Definitely loved the intro to This Holy Mountain. Stop it. Goodness. You're just such a loud dog. Okay. Ugh. Okay. We're here for prosperity. This is track number four. Let's go ahead and get into it. That's what it's like scooping. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's kind of giving me um, Demo Bogir and a little bit of Epica, like old Epica vibes in terms of the harmonies. And you have like some beautiful layered like ooze through this. But it's such a contrast with the scoopy scoop bass and then these like beautiful harmonies. <laughs>
hearing a choir over that. It would sound so dope if there was a choir. Just something to like follow that synth that you have layered. It's beautiful and I love the placement of it in this mix. The drums aren't too overwhelmingly loud and it, you're just really allowing the synth to have so much breathing room up here just to like just hold down the fort. That's the turkey to the sandwich, you know? mysterious -da 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 -da. perfect amount of like ah, sounds like treble treble reverb mm. Mm. and I love the like this little synth it's almost like a very high like vocal synth and you fade it you're like fading it in and out or like amplifying little bits of it and then kind of bringing it back in oh and I love that it's like most of this like stuff when the guitar comes in, this bun dun dun riff is all very much like down here, like over here with this like ooh synth placed here. Hearing is like a cello and staccato strings holding out the four when all of this comes in, especially when you got that like acoustic guitar, bum 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 bum, or something like that. You can follow the melody. Oh, dude, 
Okay. Okay. string plucked strings like the plucked violin strings following this melody like bum 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 just super layered in there not to tell you what you need to add this record is perfect but that's what i'm hearing it's delicious and whatever this like it's like almost like an acoustic guitar thing that's panned all the way over here she's really delicious oh <laughs> So we have piano instrumental, so you end on do da do deep note for the prosperity, and now we're going into continued piano notes for their fifth song, Blomster Kranz. You know, that's not exactly how it's going to be pronounced, but that's how I'm pronouncing it, okay? Because <laughs> it's in Swedish. Oh my god. Guys, this is an experience. Are you enjoying your time? Because I am. I've already bawled. I've already had to hold back like a whole sob. Like a full sob. Embrace your life. Feel the warmth of the sun. Replace the fear as you walk through the night. Breathe as one. Evolve as one. Lead mankind into harmony. Race, sex, desire. Rise from the shadow. Take your seat at the Council of Prosperity. From the ashes of history, knowledge rises, rewrites destiny. Dang. Those are deep lyrics, dude. Embrace your life, feel the warmth of the sun. Replace the fear as you walk through the night, breathe as one, evolve as one. Take your seat at the Council of Prosperity. I love that line. Okay, so now we're going to get into their full, um, <laughs> Swedish song, Blomstrakrans. So it's, again, it starts out with a, um, starts out with piano instrumental. So let's go.
hit the wrong button. No, I did pause. Okay, great. You see these? It's been pouring down rain. Side note, it's been pouring down rain all day and it's actually cold. Y'all, this is the first time I've worn a hoodie and sweatpants in my house since like April. So, <laughs> Don't make fun of me for my bleach stained jammies, all right? It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm listening to this. I'm dedicated to the project, all right? Let's continue. <laughs> sound like like dolphins or whales like calling in the ocean is that is that weird I feel like that's like what I'm hearing beautiful I'm like actually crying now oh my god Ugh. these strings and the like little filter you have on the vocals and it being in Swedish Sweden Sweden Swedish <laughs> I just want to make sure I got it right it is Swedish hold on hold on don't judge me he said, yeah, completely in Swedish, okay, yeah, just wanted to make sure the verbiage was right. It fits the song perfectly, and it sounds so, like, oh, just beautiful and poetic. <laughs> Yeah. 
drums are absolutely perfection in this section. Holy cow. These symbols, whatever you're doing, whatever is panned all the way over here, you have the kit like split into two here. It's divine. And it opens it up so beautifully. Oh my girl, girl. Okay. <laughs>
Of all the wisdom and beauty in the world, you are limited to narrow-minded ways of thinking. Every choice you make in life is founded and planned for your future. Imagine that you even matter. Imagine that you even matter. Think your existence is more than just an excuse. You are a meaningless second in a minute of a day. Totally meaningless in a picture bigger than your own little spectrum. Think of everything you see with love. To you, it's just a blindfold to avoid seeing reality. Play for joy. Enjoy the romance and multiply your brood. Inaugurate another generation of worthlessness to a world of contrived happiness. Dang. Hey, at least it rhymes somewhat in English. I don't know how close that is to what y'all were wanting, but I'm assuming breeders is like parents. I wonder what we're like, what it's about. Either way, beautiful, beautiful track. So we're going to skip In the Heavens Above, You Will Become a Monster. Again, we covered this song previously, so please... Go and check that video out. It is oh, a phenomenal track, just like this whole record. Um, so now we're going to get into the last uh, song of, on this album. I can't talk. But first what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the ending of In the Heavens Above, You Will Become a Monster, so that we can go right into This Torment Has No End, Only New Beginnings, which is the final song. So, let's go. chapter closing sounding if that makes sense it definitely sounds like we're bringing everything back together and we're kind of resolving this this emotional story that we've been telling <laughs>
you keep it going too with that like chuggy choppy guitar too it sounds so good in this like chorus because it's just again it's kind of like unsettling and a little disorienting but it like fits oh it's like a perfect pocket and then you kind of pull back and have this beautiful like melody and still keep it going it's just a lot of really great contrast little pockets that of stuff that you wouldn't think would work but it does spoon removed the dang camera as we were freaking recording okay he's kicked out of the office so now we are back to listening. My God. pockets though of changes like y'all didn't stick to a single change you like had these big dips this big almost like you're gonna break down do -do 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 -do, kind of a change and then another like total switch up oh my gosh and it seems like you're gonna like bring it up and continue to build it up but then you bring it down to this to how it started with this acoustic guitar and just Super quiet, oh my goodness. love the like echo filter you have on this like I think it's a programmed drum it's very like I don't know 80s sort of esque I really really like it though this is beautiful <laughs>
change in. with these screams mixed in with this like marching band drums is absolutely nutter butter crazy. <laughs> Okay, we're going into the first one. Okay, and then that's right. The first song just does the slow fade in with the ocean. Get your butt out of the damn office now. You knocked into the camera, boy. Go, get your butt out of here. Goodness gracious. I swear, sometimes this dog, man. Mm -mm. Sometimes this dog is nothing but trouble on four legs. All right. Yep, I'm so into this record. The church, like, cathedral uh, organ that you had at the end of this tournament is seriously... was the icing to the cake. To the cake of the, uh, the, uh, the album. I'm forgetting how to speak because I'm, my brain is fried. I'm overwhelmed. Um, I think... In terms of like the best song on this record, Bubba. Bloom is like beautiful and emotional. Oh my god, the behemoth is amazing with the slow fade. Emotional, but it's those like vocoder vocals at the end that are amazing. Slaves is a definite dark, dark cut. But tear down this holy mountain. Oh. I don't know, they're all really, really strong. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. We got we got lyrics for one more song. Um this torment has no end, only new beginnings. Your entity exists through rape and sodomy. You are released by our leaders on the promise of corruption. As you break pieces of her puzzle, you walk with gluttonous pride. Accepted by society, shrieks of horror echoes. I fuel on the agony and hatred of your victims. I dwell in the shadows. Ooh. Awaiting desperate calls, phasing through worlds. I remove your, swol your stolen wings and expose your putrid soul. Skin peeled, bones separated. I incinerate your flesh. I give no luxury of death bars trying to escape i dig deeper i am keeping you awake watching yourself empty i rest my head and observe you weep as i smile i'm talking about some dark deep stuff i'm not totally sure what some of these lyrics are but it's very like dark and poetic and it's just 
paired with the instrumentation, there's so much emotion and depth to everything. And it's like the perfect balance of beautiful instrumentation. The best that you could get from like acoustic guitars and vocals. You have the church organ. You have a clarinet. There's just there's so many beautiful, beautiful parts. You had like some really great technical bits. I mean, throughout the whole album, but I really noticed it with the like kind of, I'm going to call them like fake breakdowns almost. And this torment has no end. Um, and then you go into this like sort of softer section. Oh my gosh. Because you can feel knowing that this whole album is about people you know, taking advantage of others, and specifically you said, we as people oppress others who we perceive as beneath us, removal of rights to bodily autonomy, child abuse, honor-based violence, and persecution, like, yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely feeling that, like, this album has so many different sections where, and I've mentioned it, it's unsettling or there's parts where you don't think it would work but it does or there's like a little like the drums are doing something that keeps you like on the edge of your seat or there's like a minor note that kind of like gives you a little bit of an edge before there's a beautiful resolve I don't know it's like I'm feeling dark beautiful damaged <laughs> that's what I'm feeling and like there's essence of like trauma there's essence of pain um but there's also like the beauty of it just being like life and just accepting that this is just how it, it is you know and I feel like they're like bloom was the the song that was definitely more about accepting um or just because it's, it's definitely the most quiet song next to the first track, The Beneath, uh, The Behemoth That Lies Asleep, um, words. I don't know if I'm making sense. All you need to know is that this album is phenomenal. <laughs> and it's my favorite album by far that we have had on this channel. For real. I mean, current-wise... Like, Death Stole My Heart. This is my favorite current record. Like, my one of my, easily my favorite, out, like, metal record, bar none. I just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, I'm completely enamored. I'm impressed. I'm, I just want to listen to this more. I want to continue to listen to this. I want to listen to this in my car. I feel like I could, like, vibe to this, chill to this, make love to this, be in my, in my bed and just like be with my dogs and listen to this. It's a rainy night right now and it's chilly outside and I'm getting fall vibes and this is perfect. This is why I waited for the nighttime to listen to this. Y'all did a phenomenal job with this and I'm so impressed that this is your second record Cause you know, you know the, the the rumors. The second record is usually the weakest for most people, but y'all came and delivered. You hammered it out, and you should feel so proud of this record. I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so excited for y'all to tour with this record, to to sell this record, and get this out to as many people. And just, I'm honored to be sitting in this room right now and have to have experienced this before most of the world. So, I mean, when you're watching this right now, y'all, it's already out, but like, oh, trying to keep this in, trying to keep these, <laughs> these songs in, it's going to be tricky. This is a, be it's a beautiful record, beautiful record, mixed, mastered beautifully. Um, yeah, you guys did a phenomenal job. So, um, go and check out more from An Abstract Illusion. I'm going to have all of their links 
down below to where you can purchase this record. You can check out more of their music. Um, you can also check out any music videos and stuff that they have. Um, please go and support An Abstract Illusion if you liked what you heard today. They're amazing. You can go follow them on social media. Um, and also check out more from Willowtip Records as well. They have some amazing underground artists, okay? We're featuring a lot of underground metal um, on the channel as well as your favorites, okay? So your favorites aren't going to go anywhere, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a underground musician. I may not be signed to a label and stuff, but, I, you know, I've done the thing. I know what it's like to be a local musician and slave away at, at your craft, okay? So, um, whatever I can do to bring more underground music um, to the channel for, for us to discover together, as well as listen to, like, the greats, is, is my goal. So, thank you so much to Carl from Abstract Illusion for sending me the lyrics, for um, sharing with me um, more about the album and some of their favorite songs and favorite sections. Um, thank you so much to An Abstract Illusion as a whole and Willow Tip Records for um, allowing me to be here today and experience this record for y'all. Um, I'm honored and I'm so excited for you to hear this record so please let me know down below what your favorite song was that we heard today. What did you think about this record? What do you think about An Abstract Illusion? Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's support our boys. So, thank you so much as always for being here and spending time with me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love for you to subscribe. We post daily videos. Um, join our Discord. Send recommendations through the channel email if you want or down below in the comments. Also, we have weekly polls voting on who, which metal band gets a five-song discography dive. If you didn't know that we have weekly polls every Sunday, girl, go check it out. It's in the community tab on YouTube. Every Sunday, we have a poll. So, you can participate in that if you want. And, um, yeah, like and share the video. You know the deal. So, I'll see y'all later. Um, get some rest. Take care wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.